Daisy the coach. The hot summer weather had taken a toll on the engines, especially Daisy, who had broken down near Terence's field. Toby had to fetch her. It was hard work, but he hauled her all the way back to Farmport. When they arrived, the fat controller was waiting for them with important news. I'm sorry, Daisy, but the works are overcrowded. You will have to stay in the sheds until further notice. But what about my passengers? Thomas will land to your services. There will be a new schedule for him, so there shouldn't be any difficulties. At first, Daisy didn't know how to feel about the new arrangement. Until she felt how hot it was the next day. The temperature had reached an all-time high and Daisy was grateful for the shade of the shed. The other engines weren't so lucky. Thomas felt winded. There seemed to be more passengers than ever before. They're all going to the beach, his driver explained when they stopped at Maithwaite. It's much cooler there. Thomas sighed. I wish I could lay about on the beach on a day like this. His driver laughed. I wish we could too, but that wouldn't be very useful now, would it? Thomas could only agree. He knew that a really useful engine worked hard, no matter what the weather. That night, Thomas, Percy, and Toby shared their grievances about the hot summer weather. Annie and Clarabelle have never been this full before. I'm exhausted. <whistles> Me too. Something about the hot sun makes the stone truck seem heavier than usual. Oh, you're right about that. If it weren't for all that heavy stone, the harbor would be the perfect place to cool down. Just then, Daisy chimed in. You know what's nice and cool? This shed. It's much nicer in here than wasting away in that dreadful heat. And she roared into laughter. Thomas glared. Oh, shut up, Daisy. You're only in this shed because you can't handle lot work. I can too. But everyone needs their rest. Especially a highly sprung diesel rail car like me. Thomas was about to tell Daisy what he really thought about highly sprung diesel rail cars until Toby whispered this. Don't worry. Her time will come. Thomas hoped it would, but he'd no idea it would be the next day. When Thomas brought Annie and Clarabelle to the platform, he saw the vicar of Farquhar, his Sunday school class, and many other passengers eagerly waiting to board. Thomas's guard felt uneasy. Oh dear, we're nearly full already. Uh, there's bound to be more passengers at the other stations. What are we going to do? The men looked over at Thomas, who couldn't help but smile. I think I have an idea. Back at the sheds, Daisy awoke to a sudden jolt. Good heavens, what was that? Good morning, Daisy. Rise and shine. To Daisy's surprise, a shunter just coupled her to Clarabelle and Annie. Let go of me! I'm not a coach! I am a diesel rail car! <laughs> not today. I need an extra coach, you see, and I figured you'd fit the bill. Well, I never! She pouted. This is unacceptable! Despite Daisy's protests, Thomas left the yard pulling his three coaches, Annie, Clarabelle, and Daisy. In trial, they met Percy, who found the new arrangement rather amusing. Is that a new coach, Thomas? 
Oh wait, it's only Daisy! Nice to see her out and about, eh? To say Daisy wasn't pleased would be putting it mildly. She was crosser still when they reached the junction. The mainline engines found Daisy's new job a great joke as well. Daisy wanted the day's work to be over there and then, but she had to spend the whole day going up and down the line. She was exhausted when they returned to Farquhar. The Fat Controller was waiting for her. Well, Daisy, I see you are taken to your new job well. Daisy said nothing. <laughs> Nevertheless, tomorrow you will be going to the works for repairs. Thomas will take you to the junction, using you as a coach again, and then you'll travel the rest of the way on Henry's local train. Won't that be nice? I'm sure she'll love it, sir. After all, Daisy would never turn down a hard day's work just to idle in the shed. Daisy shuddered. She decided it was best to keep her cool in future especially around Thomas.